Um, <clears throat> I really wanted to do a video about despair. <laughs> you know, uh, that's what's been pressing on me lately. I know despair very well. <laughs> No bullshit. I still despair when God's helping me. The real God's helping me. The good God's helping me. I still have despair. I still think things will fall through. You know what I mean? That it's a false hope. You know what I mean? If I put my full hope in God and it, it uh, falls through, it leaves me hanging basically. It's worse than if uh, no God was helping me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is. It is. <laughs> it's worse if the real Jesus is helping you. And you you're, you finally put, put full faith in the, the real Jesus, finally. Then he, then he abandons you. It's worse than if no Jesus was helping you. <laughs> you get what I mean? <laughs> If you ever seen The Dark Knight Rises, there's something that's said, you know, uh, that Bane says about despair, and it's true. They're in this pit, you know what I mean? It could just be a pit, you know, a normal pit, <laughs> you know, with no sunlight, basically. It could just be a dark pit where everyone's in prison forever in the darkness. That's not as worse as despair as there's light at the top. You know what I mean? There's light at the top. You have this hope that you can get out. But no matter what you do, you can't get out. But you have this hope that you, there's sunlight. You can get out. That's what it was like most of my life. No joke. Oh, there's this good God out there. <laughs> I'm getting abused under God's supervision. The people that are abusing me are forcing me to pray to God. That watch me be abused. <laughs> They're forcing me to obey the rules of the Bible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Enslaving me under honor father and mother. You know, to my death. <laughs> you know what I mean? Those Bible verses about the mother and father <laughs> nearly killed me more than once. You know what I mean? Obeying what they said nearly destroyed me. <laughs> That's the fear of the Bible and God and the religious narcissist on top using it against you. That's why my, my situation is so twisted. And when, when people are trying to give me Bible verses now, this is no joke. When I'm trying to walk a better road, people giving me Bible verses now, I'm like, they gave me Bible verses in the cult to enslave me. Shut me up. Get what I mean? despair. <laughs> I can't go up against the Bible. I can't talk. I can't go up against the Bible and God. Despair. <laughs> See what I mean? You're forced to just take it. You are. The Bible says so. The Bible says so. You're forced to just take it. Take it on the ass. <laughs> take it on the chin. You know what I mean? <laughs> Turn the other cheek a million times. <laughs> That's what I said I've done. Jesus says, turn the other cheek. I turned the other cheek like a million times a million times. Until there was nothing left of me, I turned the other cheek. <laughs> That's how much respect I gave to that whole religion that I thought was from God. <laughs> that they were telling me was from God, you know what I mean? That I knew it wasn't from God as well. <laughs> but they were telling me it was. <laughs> but anyways, you can see how it's despairing. <laughs> You're up against God himself, the Bible himself. And the people that are serving God more diligently than you are. Your parents, family, they're, they're serving God, off, at least physically, more than you are. See the despair? You know what I mean? That's why I thought Jesus didn't hold a candle to what I went through. Not a candle. You know, he doesn't know true despair. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Being trapped in religion under the rules of the Bible made me like.
this. It did, God knows. It. Yeah. I know what it's like to be stuck in a situation, hoping God does something to get you out of the situation. Nothing happens. Year after year after year after year after year. See, see the despair? See the despair? <laughs> Unwinnable. Up against God, his Bible, his rules to shut you up. Unwinnable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, get strangled. <laughs> the next day you're forced to pray to God that watch you get strangled. See how twist twisted this is? <laughs> Can you see how twisted this is? <laughs> Get strangled. Get forced to pray to God. That watch you get strangled. Bite your tongue. See how fucked this fucked up this is. Abused by your parents. Forced to pray to that same God that watched you get abused by your parents. Honor the father, father and the mother. Forced to pray to that God. Swallow your pride. Pray to that God. The very next day. The very next day from when you got abused by your parents. <laughs> Pray to that same God. See how twisted this is? It's fucking twisted. If you if you grew up in a similar situation, I understand how twisted it is. It is. <laughs> twisted as hell. God knows it. <laughs> if there's a real God, he knows how twisted it all was. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why I'm not a fan. <laughs> Bible rules on to the father and the mother. <laughs> obey the obey the the parents makes the Lord ha happy. Fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah, that nearly killed me. <laughs> you know the rules of the Bible. That you know that's why I'm like deciphering if the Bible is. I I, I have been. God knows it. <laughs> I've been trying to decipher if the full Bible is true, front to back. Some say it's true front to back. I don't know yet. Some of you say some of it's not true. Some of you say that. But anyways, this video is going to end. But that's what I'm just saying. Maybe I'll make another video about despair. A bigger video. But yeah. Imagine years and years and years and years and years of God not getting you out of a desperate situation. That's the despair I'm talking about.